and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. And as the nights draw in, I've noticed that my right hand headlamp is aimed at the ground and us experienced E31 owners know where the adjustment system has disintegrated. It's not out of adjustment, it's broken. So I'm going to show you a quick way of fixing this, which doesn't involve taking the whole headlamp assembly internal assembly out of the housing which is the usual method we're going to replace one of the exploded parts with something called a cable gland i'm going to show you how to do it um, i did the same repair on the left head lamp about a year ago it's held up really well so i thought i'd tell you all about it right so we remove the headlamp cover slides forward after removing a posi screw and then we remove six clips that hold on the headlamp glass starting at the bottom. And we do that with a flat bladed screwdriver in the side of the clip and a quick anti-clockwise twist. We'll pop the clip off and uh, keep the bottom ones separate to the top ones. Um, and I'll explain why later. So three off at the bottom, three off at the top and sticking a flat bladed screwdriver in the hole at the back and pushing downwards gets those off really easily so all six of those off and we can remove the headlamp glass altogether really easy on the E31 the easiest car I've had to work on as far as the headlamps are concerned this is a Euro headlamp so from the outside we've got the dip beam or low beam fog light both projectors and both fitted with Osram Nightbreaker Unlimited and my main beam's got an LED in which works pretty well. And here's the problem, the whole internal assembly is just flopping about so sure enough that's going to be an exploded bobbin. Right, here's how it all works. The internal assembly is held on a tripod made out of three rods with bobbins stuck on the back of them. That's the fulcrum which is not adjustable and these are the adjusters and the rods are threaded and when rotated they'll move through the bobbin and adjust the headlamp. Um, and it's the bobbins that explode and you can replace all three of them but it's a pain in the neck. So here's where the bobbins pop through the back of the headlamp and you can see the castellated bits at the back and sometimes the castellated bits snap off like in this picture which I pinched from the internet and sometimes they just completely disintegrate altogether and here's another picture I pinched that shows a couple of broken adjusters uh, adjuster bobbins and the threaded rods and here's a good one a very rare picture obviously as you don't see them in that condition usually and my one has completely disintegrated and um, so I can actually take the cover off there and you can reach the rods and you can pull the rest of the bobbin off and what we're going to do is going to replace it with a cable gland and these are really useful things because we can fit it from the outside and then when the nut at the back's tighten up it compresses onto whatever goes through the center of it and holds it pretty firmly so here's uh, well that's not an m10 one that's an m12 but here's the plan put something through the middle of it and when you tighten it up it's held firmly now on my one, what I've done is I've turned off a bit of that captive nut uh, so it goes into the housing further, but you don't need to do that. It just means more of the rods in it. Um, Araldite on the threaded parts to the left only, and then push it into the, the headlamp assembly using five minute Araldite, um, which takes about an hour to go off. Put the nut on loosely, and that's, we'll leave that for now and then we'll clean up the headlamps while it goes off and this makes quite a difference to the sharpness of the beam and to the amount of light that comes out it's quite noticeable so give it a clean in the sink rinse it stick it in front of a fan heater or because it's a sunny day I'll just leave it outside and we'll move on to the reflector these are vacuum deposited silvering which can come off very easy so just be really careful if anything starts to flake off stop immediately and move on the projector lenses get condensation on them and then the bulb heats that water up and it leaves these little 
uh, pock marks on the lenses, so you're going to need a lens cleaner for that. There we go, some lens cleaner, glasses cleaner, anything you fancy, lint-free cloth, and they will be nice and clean and shiny. And before we tighten up that cable gland, we're going to adjust the beam height. And because we've only messed with one of the adjusters, getting the beam height the same as the other light is all you have to do. You don't have to do any other adjustments because we haven't adjusted anything else. So there you go, get the beam height exactly the same. And then once that's done, you can tighten up the cable gland nut, 10 uh, millimeter socket. It doesn't have to be tightened up much. It's only made out of plastic, but they're very efficient. And once they're tightened up, then the internal assembly is held really well and it's not gonna move again. So I'm perfectly happy with that. And then we put some silicone, silicone grease on the headlamp seal and we're going to refit the glass. Um, start with the top ones and use a screwdriver again. Um, and the reason I said keep the bottom ones separate is the bottom ones always seem to be looser. And if you fit a top one onto the bottom, you have an awful job trying to fit the things on. And I don't know why that is, it doesn't make any sense, but that is the way it is. Um, so don't get them muddled up. Right, put the top cover on. Single posi drive screw. And that's it, I've done the left hand one as well. And that looks perfect, We're lovely, back to normal again. Um, I've whizzed through this routine really quickly, so please rewind to catch the bits you missed. And thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.